Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another gaming tutorial by Rexford. Let's start by getting this out of the way here. Alright, so I recently found out something pretty cool, and uh, I'm really <laughs> just pretty blown, blown away by it, actually. Um, by the simplicity of it. It is just fantastic. So, uh, anyway, I, I recently came across a, uh, a tutorial online on YouTube on basically how to create slopes um, in Game Maker, and Oh my goodness, let me tell you, it was one of the most easy, awesome tutorials ever. Um, I forgot the name of the YouTube user, unfortunately, uh, so that's kind of a bummer. But I will put the link to his channel, as well as the uh, tutorial that he has uh, posted online um, in the, the description box. And so you guys can go ahead and check that out and everything. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys um, basically what he did. And uh, I, well basically, I've implemented um, the tutorial, or his tutorial, rather, in my game. And, uh, yeah. All right. So, anyway, um, first thing you'll notice is I already have everything pretty much pre-made. And what is this guy doing here? All right. So, basically, um, I'm working in a game file that I'm working in, or been working in, for um, basically a week, week and a half now. It's basically just a little project I've been working on. And so, I guess this is kind of a tutorial slash, uh, slash preview of a project I've might finish, might not, and who the heck knows. Alright, but anyway, um, basically what you're going to need for the tutorial is you're not going to need all this different stuff. Don't pay attention to all these various actions, or events rather, uh, slash actions. Um, all you're going to need is a keyboard left um, event as well as a player um, with all the basic stuff, you know, gravity and whatever else you have implemented in your player. So basically, um, besides that, you're going to need a keyboard left as well as a keyboard right event and some kind of collision with your ground object. Uh, you should have a ground object. All right, and uh, basically, um, first thing you're going to need to do is, oh, also, you're going to need to have uh, two slopes. So here's one slope, and here's another one uh, basically facing left and right. And uh, yeah. All right, so um, let me go ahead and go over the slopes first because this is the easiest part here. So basically, what you're going to need to do for the slope is or slopes is make sure they're both check solid, and they have a parent of your of your ground object, which in my case is a collision block. Um, so yeah, if you have a ground object, you're going to want to parent it with your ground object. All right, and of course, you're, I already mentioned you're going to have to have the collision, or did I mention? I, anyway. You're going to have to have a collision with your ground object and all that stuff, you know, to make it stop and all that basic stuff um, in your player object. Okay? So, um, basically, the next thing you're uh, going to want to do is... Okay, yeah. Is you're going to want to go to the keyboard left event. And, basically, this is... Uh, if you already have, like, if you're using this event uh, to make your player move to the left or whatever, um, you're going to want to go ahead and just scrap all everything that you have, pretty much. Just basically what makes a move and such. And uh, switch it out for some uh, some code, and you just want to uh, put this code in here. And I already have this code um, down, so I don't need to put it down. Um, but I will put this code in the description box. So if you don't have it, which you most likely won't, um, you can go ahead and copy and paste that into uh, into your game. All right. So this is basically a uh, new um, uh, new uh, moving code that you're going to have in your game here. And uh, I'm not going to go like uh, I'm not going to go ahead and and uh, explain all of it because I want to keep this tutorial fairly short. All right, so basically once you have this, um, all you need to do is copy and go into your keyboard right and paste it. Or just go into the uh, description box and look for the keyboard right code. And basically the only thing that's changed is basically pretty much all the uh, all the fours in this code um, have been replaced um, with, with the minus um, to the plus uh, sign there. So as you guys see, there's a uh, plus there, plus there, plus there, plus there. And uh, basically, after that, you just want to go ahead and go into your room and go to your object, other, uh, get your slopes up there or down there or whatever. And uh, to do, I'll just go ahead and go like there. Never mind. I already have them right there, uh, so I won't keep them right there. And then you just want to go ahead and run your game. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Thought you were going to see my desktop. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, then you'll notice my player's right here, and there's a slope right there and right there. You can go ahead and go up the slope and down the slope, up the slope, and down the slope. And in my case, you can also jump off the slope. 
So that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, yeah, anyway, this has been a uh, video uh, tutorial on Game Maker with slopes made easy and stuff. I don't know, that was really random. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely go check out the uh, guy who I still can't remember his name, which is pretty embarrassing. But uh, anyway, he's a, he's a really good uh, dude and stuff, and yeah. So yeah, anyway, I put the link to his channel down in the description, as well as the uh, slope video that he has made, and I give credit to him uh, for this slope system. And, uh, yeah, so this has been Rex Free with another gimmick tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any problems or uh, just want to comment on the video, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below or a personal message. All right, so feel free to subscribe as well uh, for news on upcoming videos and all that other stuff. So, yeah, um, hope you guys are having a great day. Hope this works out for you, and I will see you guys next time.